existence in the sense that you're sleeping a third of the time that you are alive, roughly, in order to educate yourself and learn new things and do, do your job and, you know, be a good student, be a good uh, worker, be a good person. Sleep is integral. And if you don't have sleep, simply slowing down your heart rate and making your uh, breathing 
slow down, it, it does wonders. So what I think we should do together is um, five deep breaths, and then I will uh, basically go into the process I like to do to help me fall asleep. Get rid of it. 
any of that negativity. Just let it whoosh right by. Breathe in and breathe out any of that stress. Basically, your upper back and your back in general, right? So, often we're sitting down at computers or sitting down in general, and nowadays posture is at its all time low. So, it's extremely crucial that when you sleep, you make sure that, you know, you're not cramped or anything, okay? And just to feel any of those knots any of those muscle pains just you know evaporate feel any of that tension in your muscles any tension especially in your lower back so I'm a pianist and sometimes I can find a bit of lower back pain so what I do is just stretch my spine out when I'm in my bed and just kind of rotate and do small little micro movements to stretch the tiny thin muscles along your lower back and that is often one of the best things you can do so there you have that so just breathe in and release that tension in your back day. 
is good because if you're restless and you can't stay still, uh, the best things you can do is to really use a lot of your mental capacity. So whether that be reading a book, you know, obviously nothing, no electronic book, but an actual book with a good line, thinking about um, any kind of narrative, a short story in your head, I like to do that sometimes, or thinking about um, your plans are for tomorrow, so that's what I like to do. So what you can do is, I will, will think about, okay, I'm waking up. 7 a.m. and I'm going to upload a video then and then I'm going to get breakfast and then what am I going to eat? I'm going to eat this and then after that I'm going to go work out and then after that, you know, and so on and so forth effectively so you've planned out your entire day and I think doing that uh, has some real benefits because you kind of put a mental sticky post note in your head but also it sets your life in order and it sets your day in order, and it makes it so you're not sleeping into the unknown. Rather, you're sleeping anticipating the plans that you have for tomorrow, and it creates some sort of closure and allows you to just uh, take a step back and just say, I have this all planned, everything's in order, there is no chaos when I fall asleep, so when I wake up, I have the whole day tomorrow to enact as I've planned. And so I would recommend trying to do that. Obviously not writing down on an iPad or typing on notes what your plans are. Doing this all in your head, it's a great uh, mental thing. And you can visualize that. So uh, I've done a ton of talking in this video. Uh, I didn't expect for myself to talk for the So. Uh -huh. 